I'm Sarah Kajamko at the G20 at the Media Center in Toronto, and I'm joined by Michael Clausen, Vice President of Save the Children. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, the G8 just passed a substantial package for maternal health. And it was a $5 billion package, and I heard it fell short of expectations. I think the good news is through this initiative, they've focused world attention on an unseen crisis in the developing world of millions of mothers and children that are dying. But that focus hasn't yeah. translated into the bold leadership that's needed. And we were really looking for three things, accountability, robust investment, and concrete outcomes. Accountability, I think the G8 has finally discovered after 35 years, and they are saying that they need to say what they mean and do what they say. That's good. Robust investment fell far short of what's needed, and once we'll, we have to see the communicated know whether we're going to see concrete outcomes. So would you say you were surprised or disappointed by the final outcome? I, I mean, I think, again, the, the solving this problem is not solely the responsibility of the G8. We hope that the G20 will pick it up. We hope the UN summit in September will also pick it up. But overall, if the G8 needs to, wants to play a catalytic role, we're disappointed that it, the leadership wasn't even bolder. Canada actually pledged the most amount of money for this package. Why do you think they stepped up and others maybe held back? Well, I mean, we certainly applaud the leadership that Prime Minister Harper has shown on this initiative. I think I don't have all of the numbers of what others have pledged. I don't think they're all out yet. The, um, the U.S. administration said that they pledged $1.3 billion over two years as an initial investment. So we very much want to see that effort grow. What kind of money would you say you'd need annually to really put a dent in this problem? It, it's a difficult question because what you have to look at, it's not solely the responsibility of external donors to do this. All, national governments also have to step up. The estimates I've seen for just on um, maternal and child health reaching what are called the Millennium Development Goals um, and you know significant improvements in, in maternal and child health are around um, a, a sort of $30 billion over five years. And part of that comes from national governments, part of it comes from donors. What we wanted the G8 to do is double their, their external assistance, and they, they haven't done that yet. Now, what countries in particular would the money go towards the most? What countries are in the most need of this? I, I think that this money gets programmed in a variety of different ways. And um, there, there are 68 countries that bear the highest burden of, of child mortality. If you look at both in terms of severity and in terms of just actual burden, I mean, the, the largest countries, China and India, um, also have the largest number of children that are dying. But um, the, the ones with the highest severity and need are places like Sierra Leone and Afghanistan. So our, our point is not to choose which countries they ought to be, but to say that when this money is allocated, it needs to be targeted on countries that have high severity or high burden, not have other kind of foreign policy um, priorities guide th those allocations. Right. Now, I heard there was a bit of a controversy over abortion initiatives, and some countries didn't want to pledge money if they knew it would go to that. Do you know the outcome of that, or what countries... I, I, have, I know that was, there was a discussion here in, in Canada on that. I mean, I, for Save the Children, we don't promote or provide um, abortion services. I mean, and we think that women ought to have access to, to reproductive health. One quick message, if you had a sentence to say to the leaders at the G20 and the G8, what would it be? They need to further step up to solve this problem of, of millions of mothers and children dying each day. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Michael Clausen, Vice President of Save the Children.